okay so hello everyone welcome to our channel code with sunny and in this video i am going to talk about the problem filling stones of may easy 2021 of hacker run okay so let us try to understand this problem we have been given an integer n and there will be total 2n stones numbered from 1 to 2n that is every stone has some unique number starting from 1 to 2n okay and we have initially two empty array of size n and we want to fill the arrays utilizing all the 2n stones using each stone in only one array and the beauty is going to be defined as the sum of the elements at odd positions minus the sum of elements at even positions and we have to oh, what we have to do we have to arrange the stones in both the arrays so that the product of the beauty of both the arrays is minimum as possible that is this s1 value and this s2 values has a product uh, okay, so S1 value and S2 value has a product which should be minimized. Okay, so if you're not going to understand this problem right now, no need to worry about. I'm going to explain this entire scenario with the help of examples. So let's try to understand this problem with the help of examples. Okay, so suppose we have n equal to one, so it means that I will have only two stones because there will be two n stones. Okay, so n stones will hold the value like one and two. I need to just form two arrays that is one array and this second array so let's try to form this array it will contain one and it will contain two and what is the beauty of this array beauty of this array let's call it as s1 would be like uh, sum of all the elements at even positions minus sum of all the elements at odd positions modulus that is the absolute value and uh, again sum of even positions minus sum of odd positions you can see there is only one position which is going to be like odd position so my this value would come out to be one and this value would come out to be two okay so it will be like this one and uh, what would be the answer for this case you can easily see my answer would be like product of this one that is one and two my answer would come out to be two so for n equal to one my answer will be like two and what about for n equal to two let's try to figure it out so let me first erase this one so this is erased okay so if we have n equal to 2 okay so we have n equal to 2 1 2 3 and 4 so we will have to form this two two arrays okay comma comma and we are to we have to form this array such that this product of this beauty s1 into s2 should be minimized and how it can be minimized you can easily see s1 is like sum of even positions minus sum of odd positions and uh, absolute value of this one and s2 is also the same okay you can easily see for minimizing this value i must try to minimize this s1 and also try to minimize this s2 and product should be minimum if we try to approach the value like zero try to make s1 and s2 either either one of the s1 or s2 to be zero we will try to minimize that and for minimizing the product we must minimize this s1 and s2 okay and for uh, minimizing S1 and S2, minimum S1 and S2 can go up to 0. Okay, so let's try to find out the uh, such an array which is going to minimize S1 and S2 so that we can have a minimum product. So you can easily see if I want to try to minimize this one, I will place like the value 4 and 3 and I will place the value like uh, 2 and 1. If I am going to do that, you can see sum of even positions minus sum of odd positions will have the value like uh, even positions minus odd positions and it should be like 1 minus 2. You can easily see it is coming out to be 1, it is coming out to be 1 and the product is coming out to be 1. And this is going to be minimum. You can't get the minimum product uh, less than that. That is the product less than the 1. That is, it is 0 but you can't get 0 by a suitable arrangement of these two arrays. Okay, so let's try to talk about for n equal to 3. Can I get the suitable value? That is the minimum product. Uh, what should be the minimum product for in case for n equal to 3? Let's try to understand that. Okay, so you can see I will have the values. Okay, so let me erase this one also. So I will have the value like n equal to 3. I have the elements like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Okay, so you can see I will have the arrays like this one. And I will have another array like this one. I will, have, I will try to fill up this value such that the S1 into S2 should be minimized. And for this product to be minimized, S1 should be minimized, S2 should be minimized. 
okay so for s1 to be have the minimum value and s2 to have the minimum value so i will try to make s1 as 0 and s2 as 0 if possible otherwise we will try to minimize an s1 and s2 so we will try to choose three integers from this this one so that s1 should be minimum and minimum s1 should be like 0 or if it is not 0 try to make 1 try to make 2 okay note that i can choose any three integers from this one and uh, let's try to choose any three integers such that sum of even positions minus sum of odd positions absolute value should be minimum so this is odd and this is odd and this is even okay so i will try to fill up the first odd position i will try to fill the value like uh, okay i will try to fill value 4 and 2 what is the sum of even position you can see sorry sum of odd positions you can see 4 plus 2 6 so i will try to fill 6 now so you can see i have the value like 6 minus 6 and it is coming up to be 0 so it doesn't matter how what should be the uh, values of the array like at this one and this arrangement if s1 is coming out to be 0 this product will always be 0 and this product and the minimum product is like you can easily see minimum value of s1 into s2 will be 0 and we cannot get the product less than 0 because so this is the absolute value and this is also some absolute value okay so i have already get the minimum answer which is 0 so my answer for n equal to 3 will be 0 so i am basically trying to formulate a formula and why i am trying to do that because you can easily see n is going to be like 10 power 9 i cannot have any you can say iterative approach or any some brute force approach or think about some implementation in much uh, much good way i can't do that i must have to think for a formula that because n is going to be like 10 power 9 i cannot build up an array of size 10 power 9 to formulate the answer and this is going to give us a memory element exceeded verdict okay so i will try to make uh, up some formula to figure it out the best possible solution of this problem so let's talk about n equal to 4 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 okay so these are they i will try to make uh, two arrays each of size 4 so such that this sum of even minus sum of odd should be s1 and this has s2 and s1 into s2 should be minimized you can easily see to make the minimum value can i either make s1 or s2 equal to 0 then the minimum product would be 0 can i make that either s1 or s2 that is try to choose four integers from this one such that uh, one of the s1 or s2 would be would become 0 okay you can see i will try to first fill up the odd positions okay so let's say i will fill up the odd positions like uh, let's say i will fill like 5 and this one as 3 okay so my sum of odd positions will come out to be 5 plus 3 8 and let's try to fill up some even position you can easily see if i will try to fill up some odd positions 5 plus 3 i can always make another value equal to 8 how are you going to do that you can easily see 5 plus 3 is equal to 8 i can like 6 plus 2 is also 8 so i am going to fill this 6 and 2 at this even positions Okay, if I am going to just fill 6 and 2, you can easily see I will have sum of even positions minus sum of odd positions will always come out to be 0. If uh, either of S1 or S2 becomes 0, my product would become 0. So there is a good observation that is for n equal to 1, I will have the answer like 2. For n equal to 2, I will have the answer like 1. And for every n greater than 2, we can always make the minimum product that is the minimum value of s1 into s2 as 0 how i am going to do that because you can easily see whenever i will choose some set of numbers from this one to minimize the product you can always see i will have some another set of numbers just balancing the value in this case you can see if i will try to make 8 i will have some other set of points like 6 plus 2 equal to 8 and for n equal to 3 you can easily see i can make this value for 6 yes i have i think i have just made the value for 6 okay so it should be like 1 2 3 and 4 5 6 let's choose three integers so i can if i will choose three integers you can see if i will choose 6 over here i can choose 2 and 4 yes i can make this value for the 6 and for n equal to 4 i can this make this value for 8 and similarly for n equal to 5 6 and so on 
if you are still having some doubts you can just write down some integers and pick up some n integers from that and just try to take the sum of even positions find the sum of odd positions absolute value and just try to find out the product you can always you are always getting the value as zero so this is going to be the minimum product and the question requires us to have a keen observation on what is happening over here because n is going to be very large you should have a like good thinking and logical skills to solve this problem in the best possible way okay so let's try to have a look over the code you can see here is an i think accepted code over here and the code is going to be like of three four lines okay n is going to be one print two and if n is going to be two print one else print zero because i, I can always have a minimum product as zero okay so it will pass your all the test cases so if you have any doubts do let me know in the comment section of the video and i will ask the viewers to like this video share this video and to subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you for watching this video